I'm now at the other end of Dingwall and I'm sitting here beside my flat air sign and uh, we'll just see what occurs if anything people are waiting over there to get the bus cars are just sort of jogging along I'm waiting for the dentist, I've got an hour to wait, so we could sit and wait and see if anything happens and think, well, nothing ever does. The country garden fruit shops over there, where uh, I took some photos in there and uh, she, gave me, uh, she gave me a bar there today free. Here's the Ross County Football Club van. Now they've got some amount of uh, cars and if we look up at the uh, tower and I'm always it's McDonald's looking monument which I'm always forgetting the name of yeah that's it McDonald's monument now the people of Dingwall built that edifice for McDonald the soldier now how much did that cost the people of Dingwall and who were not particularly rich. I reckon a pretty penny. But then it turned out old uh, MacDonald had his boys, Singalese boys, in the railway carriage. If you look up MacDonald's monument in um, Wikipedia, I'll tell you all about it. So it was a bit of disgrace there. And I think he actually died when he fell on a bullet, you know, or some such, but that's, that's what happened to him. And they don't tell the tourists that, you know, because who wants to go in a paedophile's monument, you know? Not Moye, although I've got to say that me and Ann went up it a few years ago, it was an open day. But now the council were asked to open it. But, oh no, oh it's too dangerous because people are so foolish. No, people have been going up it for hundreds of years. But Highland Council don't want to put a, they probably charge you five quid, you know, like they do in the tower and the, the leaning tower of Inverness, the tower in the uh, castle that you can go in. Well, as I say, nothing's happening. We'll have a look up the street, just to see. I just stand at the edge of the road here, not on the road. And uh, we'll look up the high street. And there's a wee of cars coming down. Most of them staying within the speed limit, which is unusual. Because mostly they, they usually go at uh, 100 miles an hour. And they look at you like it's illegal to video in public, which as you know, it's not. I've just got a seat here, getting smoked out by the fumes. Ah, they're all going fairly sedately. There's a window cleaner who went cleaned Kate Forbes, MSP and what's her name's MSP's windows. He says he gets paid for it. I have a hard job getting his money off SMP, S M M S P S Scottish National Party members of the Scottish Parliament. And I was just come by in Blackface's MP's office today and here he comes round the corner and I says, Ian, yeah, black face. No, I didn't. I said, Ian, um, Balvey Road is still potholes and uh, these councillors, these Ward 8, Dingwall and Seaforce councillors are not doing a thing. They could be out there with shoveling. Instead, they're shoveling, um, planting apple trees and Muir of Ord. Now, can you imagine what's going to happen to apple trees in Muir of Ord? 
they're just going to steal the apples. I mean, I've been in uh, Hobart, Tasmania, and Launceston, where we got um, we got apples by the million tons as a cargo. And I've also been in apple trees in Israel and picked them for six months on the kibbutz. So I'm fairly off way with apples. But to plant apples in an orchard in the park in Muravard is just not on. It's totally incongruent. Now we've been on for about a dozen minutes and nothing's happened. Which is a surprise because usually things happen. Usually there's noisy cars. The guy with the wee three-wheeler car put his sign out, which I have no idea. He's got the bookshop top flight bookshop. There's somebody parting on double yellows. Now, I was trying to reverse off them, but yeah. is the dog going to get run down? No, no, maybe not. Right, dogs. Here's a Camera van, hey, camera van, you're on camera, you're on camera, safety camera unit. That was quite good. They don't like it up them. Safety camera. I'm uh, taking advertisements for these uh, delicious <coughs> travelogues. And you can slot in an advert, uh, possibly uh, 500 pounds per um, travelogue. You know, uh, advertise the local business. So as long as it's, it's e e legal, ethical, and doesn't involve animals. I'm a vegan, uh, I might have mentioned. <coughs> I've been a vegan for about two weeks now. Before that, I was a pescatarian for uh, 30 years. I ate fish and had no idea what damage I'd done to the fishing industry. So now I only eat uh, bread, really. Hello, sir. Where are you from? Where are you from? France. France. Ah, I've been in Paris twice. Paris, gay Paris, well, not so gay, but um, I was up the Eiffel Tower once. My ex-wife, I was shitting myself. She was all right, but I just, I was a seaman and I was up mass. But, oh God, that Eiffel Tower moves about. You can see the flat earth all round off the top of the Eiffel Tower. And I expect you could see a uh, flat earth of McDonald's Tower, but I'm not going up there. No, never again. No. I need to do a flat earth video up there. Here's a mini, that's a jazzy looking mini. Is that a mini? No, it's a Citron, the French. We're getting invaded by French. There was some tourists, a gang of tourists was going along the high street and I said something, ah, Dingwall closed the tourists today. He says, oh, I've got money to spend. So he was on the ball, so we'll let him go, all right. Yeah. That van, A-A-H-8, all about health. Well, I've got a page on my website, it's called Health 
healthy and wealth. There's no point in being uh, healthy if you're not wealthy. And you can spend it. And offer uh, financial tips about creating wealth and health. Health is stop taking the tablets and basically invest in my company which is uh, you can get the information from Crow and Crow and Sons of New York and Bermuda they have deal with all my financial matters I have this notice board there which uh, pretends to tell you all the different things that you can do in Dingmo. But funny enough, they're all last week, or last month, or last year, or last century in some cases. Uh, how long are we? Fifteen. Fifteen Manones. The video runs for half an hour. And surely within half an hour we're going to get some excitement. Perhaps a circus will come into town and pass along. Or, um, Picasso car zooming on. We could ask this lady, she looks a bit lost. Are you lost? No, no, not at all. Uh, yeah, she's not lost. She claims we're all lost. We're lost, lost souls in this. All about health. I've got wealth covered. Uh. Oh, ten, four minutes past ten. I've got the dentist at ten fifty. So. 10.58 leaves, how long? Just check that. With Mr. Abdul Butt. I'm going to ask him how he get his name. It's from Afghanistan or Pakistan. 10.50, so I've got two hours or something. Mr. Abdul Butt, such an unusual name, but he is an excellent dentist. He put four of my fillings in, and I never felt a thing. This was amazing. <coughs> I think that uh, Pakistan has invented a new method. They don't use injections and all that. It's a yeah, one year. Taking the corner wide. Wagger. You don't see many waggers this time. And uh, oh, somebody's getting out. Stop following me! There's, why are you following me all the time? Yeah, but I mean, come on. You go away. <laughs> God, he was in my half hour video yesterday. <laughs> God, um, Nick. Nick. 
So there's something happened. That was a surprise. I got on the bus to Bewley after we did a, a conversation on uh, YouTube, and then next thing you know, he's coming on the bus to Bewley yesterday. Yeah, yesterday was Monday. He's very good, he's a very clever man. Not quite as clever as me, but there you go. I'm better looking as well. And traveled the world. Seven seas. The video uh, we did is called Muir Mutters Nick and me and Nutters from Muir Ford. So it's one to look out for. And Dan makes a brief appearance. Which uh, I'm going to ask her to do some uh, videos with me. I think she's married, but you know what I mean. Right, is this promoting flat ass? Well, they're seeing the sign and they're just getting, it's getting bored into the skulls. They're boring, tiny, uneducated, ignorant skulls. There's Nick away. He's got concrete burns on his uh, ankles, apparently. So, I don't, that sounds uh, pretty dangerous. Concrete burns. I had friction burns on my. Uh, I had friction burns on my penis once, but I'm not going to tell you about that. Oh, that's right. I'm going to phone up the schools, the Taradell Primary School and the Dingwall Academy today. And demand to speak to the headmasters of each and every school because of the ongoing child abuse that I'm uh, receiving. I don't mind um, complaining or shouting out oh, flat earth, you know, because that's all promoting flat earth. But when you shout out other rude things, you know, it's fucking awful. It's not fair. It's definitely not fair. Mm -hmm. Used to get detention in my day, or you get belted to fuck by the teachers. And it look at me, didn't do me any harm. Oh, yeah. taught me respect for uh, my elders. Well, not all of them, but some of them. It's like I saw him sneaking down the back of that van. What's he been in Dingwall for? Well, maybe never, I don't know. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not videoing you. You're too good look, you're too good looking. You're too good looking, you know. People will write in about you. Well, I don't think there's anything else going to happen in Dingwall. Here's a tourist coming in the tourist van, trying to find the caravan park, and they'll go straight down this road, which they all do. 
and they end up nowhere. You're going the wrong way to the caravan park. How did I know that? A complete torso, there's a big sign up here behind me. Car caravan and camper van park. Oh dear. Right, that's enough for today. For the moment.